Hello everybody and welcome to this video and this video is going to be another jaunt in Terminal Punk, Punk Philosophy by V Vale from Research Pubs. And the funny thing is I was just going over my notes about what I wanted to talk about in this one here and um, what kind of threw me for a loop is I wanted to talk about one thing and then I ended up going somewhere else. So we're going to save the the former for another time and stick with the latter for right now. There was an important line in here. Kind of came up and hit me. Made me do a lot of reflection. Again, I'm not going to read the whole thing for you. Vale has a quote in here. I think the key word is inspiration. We're supposed to provide for the reader, to get up and do something, and not just consume our zine. Now, this is kind of crucial because, again, he um, used to write Search and Destroy and publish that. Um, and he's been putting out zines and all sorts of stuff for years and years and years it made me start thinking about even in the 90s like the the fanzines and the music scene zines that i was reading or a part of or putting out myself and it struck me that that is a huge difference and again like being at that zine workshop yesterday, going to the zine library yesterday, I obviously didn't read every zine like that they had there. But the idea of a zine being something that is just consumable and not inspiring to the point of making you want to get involved, making you want to stand up and do something that's fucking huge because man i remember like the first couple zines i got my first thought was oh my god i want to start a new band even if i was already in a different band at the time but i'm like i want to start a new band i want to play at these places i want to tell people what i think it, it's like you it, it moves you to move others, okay? And when I look at zines now, a lot of the things in the zines I've seen are either pure popcorn entertainment, which, again, there's nothing wrong with, but um, the sheer number of those compared to zines that, like, urge you to do something is something completely different. So, um, they're just kind of cutesy, you know, like, um, like I sh showed you the other day and it's not that I'm saying it, there's anything wrong with this, but I picked up a zine that told you all the best sandwiches in Pasadena. Okay. That's great information. And me being a dude that loves sandwiches, I appreciate that. And I'm going to use that scene a lot, okay? But it doesn't make me want to run out and make a zine about the best sandwiches in my neighborhood. And um, with the 90s, too, um, for those of you unfamiliar with it, and I don't think we've really talked a lot about it on this channel, but the 90s was a huge explosion of the riot girl movement and um, feminist zines. And those zines, the reason why there was like a boom of it, an explosion of it, is because there were zines that made people feel that they wanted to do the same thing. There, there was just this huge pulsing gathering. Even if people are from all over the world, it's the same thing. Like, it's a big 
thing that kind of exploded, you know? And I just, I don't see that. Like, a lot of the zines I'm seeing now, almost kind of like Instagram info cards or, like, top five blog posts of some sort. And again, not that there's anything wrong with that, because the actual construction of a zine is so much fucking fun that like everyone should do it just because it's a fun fucking thing to do. But there is a, a disconnect from the movement. There's a disconnect from the community of um, pushing for change, trying to make something better. And yes, not every zine is for that, but since we're talking about punk philosophy and talking about um, this... One of the things is, is that the urge for change, the urge for new ideas, the urge for communication of those ideas, that was something that made scenes like that thrive. And if your scene isn't thriving, your zine isn't going to thrive, if you see what I'm saying. If you have a zine that is thriving and creating more zines, that is going to make a scene. And that scene can then interact with each other. It's just, it's, um, it's shocking. And a lot of you watching this right now might be thinking to yourself, huh, I wonder what I would even feel strongly enough about to make. And, and that's the whole point. Like, how did we get so fucking benign as a society that like we have to think about what is something important we can make a zine about what the fuck is that you know it's like we should know we should know immediately what we want to change the world for what we want to stomp out what we want to scream from the rooftops to make people know that this is a thing. Um, even if it's so much like bands, like there's bands that you want people to know about, or there's something because what the bands are saying is worth it. Or, um, I mean, if you don't want to get like social or political or anything like that, like just things that move you instead of, just this is interesting what moves you like make something about that whatever it is it 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 hit me it got me thinking about that god damn i and i'm thinking about like zines i used to make when i was in high school and i remember one <laughs> one zine you know what's funny i and i did the i showed you the zine yesterday if you haven't seen that video i'll do the thing for it but I went to the zine workshop and I made this zine where I cut out all of these um, ads and I cut out all of the perfume ads and cologne. No, it was all perfume. Let's not kid ourselves here. Um, and I know it's cologne. Um, I cut out all the perfume ads and put it in there and did this whole ridiculous thing about give us your money and all this other shit. And it's so weird. I didn't even think about it until right this second. But... In my old zines I used to make that were like um, zines about the punk scene or the hardcore scene or um, just stuff like that, um, I would make my own ads to put in there. And I would find some ad and then I would write copy that was like completely ridiculous to what the thing was being sold or whatever. And... I was fucking doing that when I was 15 years old, man. And, like, I'm still doing it now. What the fuck? And, like, just the idea with Weird Mask. Like, I would always find... I would, like, try to find, like, really weird or ridiculous ads for really weird or ridiculous products. And I would put those in the zine. That's so funny. So, I guess I have an issue with... Um, capitalism and consumerism um maybe i should like hone in on that a little bit oh man weird 
So anyway, um, I, th I think I'm going to leave this one with a question for you guys. What would you make a zine about if you were feeling that tug in your soul? Like, what is the thing inside you that you would want to make a zine about? Let me know in the comments down below, and if we could all find something that is something we all want to do a zine about, let's all, like, do a zine together. Let's get together and do a zine. Whether it's if you're local to me in person, or we could do it online, or whatever, but, like, what is moving us? Let me know down below, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.